Hey guys, I know it's been like two weeks since I put up a video and um, I'm kind of trying to figure out kind of what I want to do. Um, so I've, it's taken me a while to do that, plus I've had some uh, problems getting into DayZ, which has been like super boo. There's been like a lot of um, hot fixes and updates and stuff like that and for some reason, like in between that process, um, the game was just running really, really poorly. Um, now it's running pretty well. Um, I just haven't been able to kind of poke around some of the new stuff. So as soon as I kind of figure out, you know, what's going on with that, I'm going to be doing more of those videos because uh, people seem to like those quite a bit. But right now I am playing mostly Star Wars all the time. Um, this video is not so much about the gameplay at all. Um, I'm just going to kind of be talking about like what kind of where I am with Star Wars right now and kind of what I want to do with Star Wars um, in the next couple of weeks, months even. Um, so this character, my Imperial Operative, I actually got to 50 um, about a week ago and uh, I've been doing some PvP and PvP PvE with the character. I specced into DPS quite a while back as um, some of you may have noticed. I, I originally started with this character as a healer. Uh, basically I just wanted something that mirrored what I was already doing just to kind of, for comfort's sake, um, just to kind of play on the Imperial side a little bit, get a different story, um, that kind of thing. But uh, somewhere along the line I kind of decided like, well, I want to do something a little bit different, you know, so I don't kind of get burnt out on the game, just, you know, that operative slash smuggler healing. Um, thing, you know, like all the time. So I switched to DPS and I'm kind of at a crossroads right now because um, I've got some expertise here now and I'm starting to feel a lot more confident and comfortable being a DPS in level 50 war zones, but I'm still learning and I don't quite feel like I'm particularly great at it. Um, which is completely different from my PvE experiences. I'm having tons of fun uh, doing operations and flashpoints on this character as a DPS. It's just way fun. Um, it's something I haven't really ever done in MMOs. I've always kind of been like either a support character, or, you know, healing or buffing and debuffing, you know, bards and that kind of thing. And um, I haven't really had a lot of experience with DPS in an MMO. Um, my first character in Star Wars was a Shadow, and I originally started out as a tank, and I only tanked on that character up until, I don't know, around a month ago. I started doing um, balance spec DPS, which was really, really fun, but um, I just wasn't really comfortable with it in PvP. Um, it's, again, really, really fun in PvE, but, uh, uh, I don't know, I just, I don't play that character very often, and it, it's not, like, a. I don't know, it was, it's just been really hard to focus that character just because of, kind of, the state of the Republic side on Jung Ma, which is another thing that I kind of wanted to discuss in this video. Um, but right now, I'm kind of at a crossroads. I'm not quite sure what I should do as far as my operative's concerned for PvP. Um, since there's no dual spec right now, it's hard to say that I'm going to PvP as a healer, which I feel really comfortable with. And, you know, with the, like, tooting my own horn, I'm, I'm pretty good at it. And uh, I feel like I'm contributing a lot to a team in PvP as a healer, but um, as far as PvE goes, I I want to DPS in PvE right now because it's super fun and I want the game to continue to feel um, fun and fresh and everything like that. So I I'm kind of stuck. Like I'm not quite sure what to do. Um, I don't think I could afford to, without dual spec in the game right now, to respec every couple of days. You know, it's like, oh, I'm in a PvP now, so hold on, let me switch back to healing and, 
you know, it, it's just, it feels like it's going to be sort of a mess trying to do that. Um, so I'm going to kind of reach out to uh, you guys that watch these videos. What do you guys think I should do? Um, a lot of my friends um, think that, you know, I should stick with DPS um, just so that I continue to have fun or experience something new. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm not really sure. And at this point, I don't, I don't mind asking for advice because um, I want to be able to do videos that are fun to watch and stuff like that. And if I'm just, you know, still learning a how to be a effective DPS in, in PvP, I'm not sure that's too exciting. I was going to try to do some videos um, of some of my early 50 experiences, but I really felt like it wasn't too exciting because I still felt like um, with that expertise gap, I kind of had to relearn how to play so that I could kind of get over or around the uh, disadvantage I had. So I'll, I'll kind of just, you know, ask for advice. What do you guys think I should do? or? What do you guys think would be fun to watch? Um, operative DPS in PvP, or should I stick with healing um, and just kind of do what I'm comfortable with or what I'm good at? Um, and why this has been such a huge um, kind of conundrum for me is because I'm not going to be playing very much Republic anymore, or at least not like as full time as I used to. Um, when I'm not working, I play this game. That's what I do. I really enjoy this game and I love playing this game. Um, and things have kind of happened um, in my guild that have just made the game not really fun to play anymore in the Republic. And um, me and a couple of friends, really, really good friends, have kind of just gravitated towards you know a, a fresh start over on the Imperial side. and. I can't speak for them, but for me, I've had a blast. It's been cool getting to know new people and kind of making friends on, you know, on this side and stuff like that. And it, it's it's been really nice. So, um, I still have Isabel, and, and I, I think with Ranked coming, I'm going to have to kind of play on her for a little bit because she's really well geared. I'm really comfortable with her. Like, I know what I'm doing. Um, and I, I guess I'm going to start Ranked on her first to kind of you know, get a taste for how ranked's gonna be. But slowly but surely, I think I may start gravi gravitating towards my Imperial character and, and playing on this side more on a full-time basis. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about in this video is by the time this actually goes up, 1.3 will be out. So, um, something that I have planned is to kind of poke around and, you know, see um, and kind of show off how, you know, all that works. I know there's a lot of videos already of people who actively or have characters on the public to server that have already done some of this, but um, I, I would like to kind of do a, you know, let's talk about 1.3 sort of video. Um, so I've got that planned. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about on this video, um, for those of you who haven't transferred yet or have been thinking about a transfer, I play on the Jungmon server and uh, lately there have been huge campaigns and huge outreach to people to join Jungma. And before the uh, before the server transfer, I was a little skeptical. Um, during peak hours, we were standard. I had never seen us get above standard after I don't know March, March or April, um, and that's kind of where we were at Jungma. A real nice community and a pretty strong community, but we were lacking in numbers, if you will. Um, since the um, transfers, or since people have been doing this Come to Jung Ma um, campaign, we are doing peak hours heavy, and we stay heavy for a 
really, really long time. I usually log off at around 12, 1 o'clock central, and um, right towards the last hour or so of me playing, we kind of dropped back down to standard. I haven't seen our server less than standard in a week. Our PvP queues right now are probably the longest I've had to wait is probably two minutes and the shortest I've had to wait was like 15 seconds and uh, it wasn't one of those insta queues where you get into a losing game you know or people had quit the game or something like that. These are war zones that are starting from the beginning and we have that you know minute and a half minute 45 or whatever of the you know pre-match thing so I mean these are genuine good queues and they're really short times the uh, the server transfers have been kind of a, a, a godsend um, because I, I know a lot of the people that I was that I was playing with were really concerned about dropping uh, subscriptions and stuff like that but I, I think that too many people were sort of you know spread out and not enough people could really see um, you know that the community is still I think alive and well and, and going strong um, since I do play both sides I've I'll get on either side at any given time and we've got you know 250 people on the Imperial fleet and another 200 people on uh, the Republic fleet you know and the starter worlds have at least a hundred plus people on them on both sides as well so it's just like um, in the afternoon I see anywhere from five to six hundred people just in the starting worlds and on the fleet not to mention all the people who are you know out in other places or doing um, war zones and all that so it's the server is in a really good place right now if you are still considering um, where to transfer or um, if you've been thinking about rerolling someplace, Jung Ma right now is in a really, really good position. Um, I don't think we're, I mean, we're not as closely as being like this huge populated surfer as like, let's say Fat Man, but um, I like the community a little bit better on Jung Ma. I have a character on Fat Man and I just can't play on that server. I just haven't really felt the, uh, as much of a community there. And uh, people that I've talked to have been really, um, really happy with Jung Ma. So I, I recommend Jung Ma. Um, I mean, I'm a little biased, but uh, it's it's a really great server. The one thing, and I I say this without prejudice and without being like, I'm not trying to be ugly or mean, but um, the one thing about the transfer servers, though. Um, that has been really negative is um, the guilds and people that have come from Agenda Paul and, and Vinzalo on Republic side um, have been less than upstanding community members um, and I've at times been incredibly frustrating to play with um, not to say that um, the Imperial players haven't been equally as frustrating however um, I haven't seen as many and and really since I've been playing on Empire most of the people that I have met and have played with on Empire, um, especially those who have transferred, have been really, really nice. And uh, one of my first experiences with a transfer on Republic side was just a complete nuisance, like calling out people in Slash Say on the opposing team, or in general, like Republic against Republic, just going on and on and on about, you know, you guys are noobs and you're terrible. This server sucks. I'm, you know, uh, I'm upset that, you know, these people who either have burned themselves out on the game or are just ha aren't having any fun are kind of actively like ruining the game for other people. And I've seen this not exclusively, like I said, it's not exclusively on Republic, but. I would say 95-5% split 
um, the negative being on Republic side. So I've just there are a lot of things on the Jung Ma Republic side that I've just been kind of turned off by. Um, again, I don't see this to be ugly or mean. It's just my personal observation. Um, maybe you know I may have caught some people on a couple of bad days or something like that, but my current experience I'm not as happy right now playing on Republic side so that's kind of a state of the server if you're a uh, considering Jung Ma or you are a Jung Ma community member the one thing I would also like to point out that I've been really impressed by is um, Tortox did this uh, guild tournament uh, event on Saturday, which was a blast. We unfortunately on Republic, the Watchmen Guild, could only get three participants and we didn't do so great. I mean, to be completely honest, we didn't do great. We were down a person and uh, we fought valiantly and bravely, I guess you could say. Um, but I mean, we, we just did badly because <laughs> we just, we, we didn't have a fourth. Uh, I'm not particularly upset about it. Um, Order of Shadows went on to win, but there was a nice turnout, and the community was generally on the up and up. You know, people didn't try to interfere, people didn't try to ruin it or cause a ruckus or anything like that. And it was a really well put together. <laughs> I've cat aggro. A really well put together event, and it was fun to just be there and watch. So right now, things on Jungma. Uh, are great. I recommend to mature, responsible players, people who like to have fun and, uh, you know, have a nice community. Come to Jung Ma and have some fun with us. Um, and probably the last subject I wanted to touch on, um, which I kind of briefly brought up, um, because I got into the whole, you know, is my conundrum between how I want to play my operative. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of PVE, um, mostly, you know, the operations and stuff like that on um, on my operative as a DPS. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, everyone's seen. Karaga's Palace, and everyone's seen Eternity Vault videos, you know. There are tons and tons and tons of them. Um, to be honest, though, I, I, I haven't gone and looked in a while, because it's just hasn't been something that I've, like, gone looking for. Um, I haven't seen a lot of operative DPS in raids, to be honest. Like, um, in my personal experience, I have only seen two, and one of them being myself. I'm not saying that there aren't operative DPS um, in concealment spec doing operations. I just haven't seen that. Um, so, you know, I am going to be doing that. If people are interested in watching uh, operative DPS or kind of like maybe how to's or just kind of discussing. Uh, concealment spec DPS in uh, operations or flashpoints or any PVE, I can do that. Um, you know, I, c I can definitely record those videos and kind of try to do that. Um, so I guess like what I, what I want to know is sort of like, are you guys more interested in PvP videos? Um, and if you guys think I should stick with DPS, I can try my hardest to make exciting and fun to watch um, PvP DPS videos. Um, but if you guys are also interested in the uh, PvE stuff, oh, I can record those as well, and I would be happy to do those as well. I'm just trying to kind of, you know, stick my feelers out there and kind of get an idea of what people want to watch and uh, what you guys are interested in. Um, Hopefully there's some, you know, I've heard whispers and rumors that, you know, there's another event on its way. That'll definitely be something that I try to uh, <laughs> give videos of. This was funny. We were just kind of 
messing around on Tatooine and <laughs> we figured out that if you're in the middle of, you know, fighting with someone of the other faction and you run towards the droids, they'll go chase them. It's really funny. Anyways, um, so yeah, if they do happen to do another event for 1.3, that's going to be something I'm going to be all over. Um, so yeah, just kind of give me a, a kind of an idea of, of what you guys are interested in, uh, and seeing, and I'll try to, you know, make videos um, and focus on that. Um, I also have a mercenary healer, which is tons and tons and tons of fun. Um, I'm trying to level her up solely through PvP, and with the 1.3 update, I will be able to do that, which I'm really excited about. So uh, I'll definitely have that um, coming out as well, Mo mostly just PvP videos. I may do ops and stuff like that in the future, but that will probably be videos for um, whenever the Dreadmasters content comes out. So uh, I'll just kind of end that here. Um, hopefully tomorrow I can get a introduction to 1.3 vi uh, video out and kind of go through some of that. So um, keep a lookout for that. And I will try to get more DayZ videos out. And as soon as possible. I'll try to play for a couple hours either today or tomorrow or maybe in between the uh, server downtime and hopefully get some of those videos out as quickly as I can. Um, thanks everybody for watching and thanks for those who have stuck with me. Uh, I haven't had any videos up for two weeks so I know that can be frustrating and people like to unsub and stuff like that and have too many subscribers or anything but still I appreciate um, those of you who have continued to subscribe and stay subscribed. Hope everyone has a good day and thanks for watching.